Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Bad Numbers Crunching. And today we will look at a very stupid rumor that says a minimum wage family has more disposable income than a family making $60,000. In this very stupid comparison, they are comparing two families, both with two kids. In other words, they're both families of four. So this morning when I was driving to work, I heard Rush Limbaugh say that he read an article online uh, from a website called Zero Hedge, and the article alleges that if a family has two children or four members of the family and makes minimum wage, they will have more disposable income than a family that makes $60,000. My immediate gut instinct was, bullshit, that's impossible, because... Either this person doesn't know what he's talking about, or he's using very bad math, and in this case, it's kind of both. Before we get into analyzing this bad calculation, I want you guys to remember that tax brackets, tax credits, are probably not what you think they are. So if you're not trained in accounting or tax laws, please don't do your own calculations. A common myth in taxation is that people who make more are disproportionately taxed more. Now, it's true that the more you make, the more you're taxed, but you will never, ever, as a result of making more money, end up with less due to taxation. Ever. A person who makes more will always, based on income taxes, have more income than a person who makes less. You will never be taxed more to where you might as well have made less. So now that we got that out of the way, let's look at what these guys are looking at. So this article compares four kinds of incomes, but for our purposes, we'll look at one minimum wage and the other $60,000. The way they came up with how does a minimum wage family have more disposable income is that this person basically took all the government benefits that the minimum wage family qualifies for and treats that like cash. That's just stupid, okay? The only thing in these list of benefits that could be anything close to cash would be the earned income tax credit. So yeah, that would be treated as a $5,000 income. But other than that, everything else is non-transferable and you can't use that as cash. The Another thing that might come close to being vulnerable for abuse could be food stamps. Some people trade that for money or they buy food and then sell it to other people. But that that's about it. So the person who wrote this article lists these benefits as somehow disposable income. There's earned income tax credit, like I said, EITC, food stamps, national school lunch program, temporary assistance for needy families, Medicaid and CHIP, Section 8 rent subsidy, and utility bill assistance. All these benefits, with the exception of the first two, food stamps and EITC, are not ever going to be used as disposable income. The most, most, most you can get out of this is not paying for what you need. And not all families use it, whether you're minimum wage or not. So the only way a person can, quote, get richer by these benefits is if he just happened to be the person who used it and his counterpart needed it and paid the same price. And that almost never happens. So I'll be generous. I'm still willing to consider that a minimum wage family could have more money than a $60,000 a year family. Now, how do we do this? We'll assume the best case, that the minimum wage family makes $15,000 a year, and they are not taxed one penny. They also spend nothing, so they keep all $15,000 that they earned. That's step one. Step two is you take the income tax credit that could be used as cash, and you add $5,000 to their income. So there you go. That is it. If a minimum wage family 
makes $15,000 and get $5,000 in tax credits, they can save, and that's if they spend nothing. That means they live Section 8 housing, completely rent-free, which is uh, unlikely, but let's, let's give them that. That means they don't pay rent, they don't pay for food, their children don't pay for lunch, they have utilities paid for, and they just happen to not need a car. Or somebody's paying for that. So they spend nothing. A minimum wage family, at most, saves $20,000 a year. If they spend nothing. Very important point. Now, then we look at the $60,000 family. They are, right off the bat, taxed 13000 for their income. So they're less with 47000 at this point, two families are at the same spot. They spend nothing. Now, as far as food, utilities, rent, uh, medical care, this family can spend as little and as much as they choose. So they have $47,000 to work with. Both families have two children or a, a family of four. Do you think that with $40,000 that this family could save more than $20,000 at the end of the year. I think they could. They could either be living on savings, or they could have a frugal lifestyle. But even if they don't, let's say they spent all their $47,000 of their net income, wouldn't you think that they are still better off than the minimum wage family that saved $20,000? So, no, a minimum wage family is not better off, even with all the benefits, than a $60,000 a year family. Yes, they do get a lot of benefits they don't have to pay for, but it doesn't end up being cash, and their lifestyle does not come close to $60,000. I mean, doesn't come close to that of a family earning $60,000 a year. Now, yes, if you make minimum wage, you'll get by. You're not going to starve to death. And it's probably not the most comfortable. But it's nothing, nothing compared to a $60,000 a year income lifestyle. Things that will be different would be where you live, how you live, what you eat, what time you can spend on entertainment, whether you have some extra cash for a vacation or gambling or investment. Minimum wage families don't have that kind of luxury. So whether you're comparing disposable income, quality of life, freedom, there just isn't any comparison. Yes, they do qualify for lots of benefits if they're making minimum wage, and that does bring them somewhat closer to people who make more than them, but not to the point where they would have more disposable income than 60, since a family making $60,000. That's just stupid. So the next time you hear a statistic or study or comparison like this, really ask, what are they looking at? In this case, all I had to do was find that, well, they're adding up benefits as cash, and you can't do that. Because even if all the benefits they received were completely used up, you would have to have their counterpart use and pay for this exact same thing. Otherwise, it's pointless. So once you find that out, you know that the minimum wage family doesn't have $38,000 in disposable income. They have 20000 at most. That's if they spend nothing. Whereas a $60,000 family can either save $47,000 a year or have a better lifestyle than the minimum wage family. In any case that I could think of, reasonably, the $60,000 family is going to be better off. If I'm missing something, please correct me, because I still want to believe that I'm better off making minimum wage. So any information you have, please send it my way, and I'll leave links on the bottom so you can look at it. Thank you.